I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long night. Hey friends, so I am going to take you with me to LV. Um, so there is a couple of things that I do want to check out. So there is a new Empront daily pouch that I'd like to check out because I think that would be the perfect everyday bag. It's not too expensive. It's $14.80 uh, Australian dollars. And I think that that's going to be a really good daily bag. I do already have a daily pouch that I do use as my daily bag because I feel like I can like be a bit more rough with it. I know it still costs a bit, um, but not as much as my other bags. And I kind of like to wear my other bags on special occasions because they do cost quite a bit more. Um, the other thing I'd like to try is the Locket Mules. Um, they're just flats. I would love to try that. And there is a card holder that I'm kind of thinking about getting to match an item that I have um, coming that's being shipped. So I have to wait for that item to come and then do the unboxing for that. Um, it is, I can't remember the name of the, the card pouch. But I do know that it is like a, it's a black with um, like kind of like a neon pink kind of vibe going on. If I have, if I can, I will video, although I get a little bit shy videoing in um, stores because I'm like, do they think that I'm just videoing and not actually going to purchase something? I don't know. But um, I will try and video a few things that I look at. So, yeah, I'll take you along for the journey. All right, bye, guys. Fit check before I head to the LV. My tortoiseshell Louis Vuitton sunglasses. This is the first time I am wearing this baby out. I'm a little bit worried about color transfer so I'm going to see how I go um I'm still a little bit worried about wearing jeans with this because it's quite supple but this is the fit check this is what I'm wearing today it's cold outside I'm just wearing some really cute dangly earrings but this is my fit. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I took this baby for a ride today so I thought I'd just show you what I had in my bag when I went shopping today so this is what I got in here so really so it does fit my phone as well I'm filming on that but my Rosalie purse that's for thickness if you can see that <laughs> My Sunday glasses case so this one um, is actually a soft one so I put my Louis Vuitton um, sunglasses pouch in side. and then this is just another little pouch um, and this has just got like uh, Lano lip lip balm a NYX lipstick pencil lipstick and a NYX gloss so I just pop those in there because I don't want anything to spill in my <laughs> bag um, this is just like really cheap it's not anything fancy but it's perfect for carrying stuff like that because I don't want things to get ruined and then I have my phone and my keys and it all fit perfectly fine and um, she was so pretty yo she was so pretty um, wearing this with shopping trip. 
it started in Chanel actually today. So I went into Chanel. Um, I had a look at some of the fashion jewelry accessories. I actually found two woks that I really like. Um, one was like a blue ish color. It was like, mm, it was like a dark blue. Um, I thought about it. It was really nice, but I feel like that will go out of style really quick. Um, and then the other one was kind of like a fuchsia pink. Again, I'm not sure if that's going to stay in style. Um, that one actually had the pearl chain extender. So that's like a limited edition. So I'm still unsure, like maybe I will get it. Maybe I won't. I might go back. Um, that was actually my first time in Chanel and the lady that served me was amazing so beautiful lovely she was an older lady she was so sweet and kind um and so helpful like that was my first time going into chanel and i must say because i've heard such horrible things and reviews about chanel stuff i was really like <laughs> i don't know i was scared to go in there like that it was going to be really confrontational but it really was this is actually in the perth store so i don't know if like chanel is like not as popular here but there actually was a ton like there was so many bags that is so cute There was a Chanel 19 pink, it was like a big bag. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember what size. I'm going to say it was a medium or a large. It was fairly decent size. Um, there was a Chanel 19 that was in like a really, really nice pink. Um, it was like in a really nice light pink. That was super cute. They had some of this totes in stock. So there was a really nice baby blue there was also a pink. Um, I'm still not sure if I would buy a tote for that much. Um, only because I don't think I'm going to use it that often. And then when I do use a tote, it's for going out for picnics or beach and things like that. Like I am not kind of like a shoulder bag person, as I've said so many times before. So I just don't know if I will spend that much on a tote. I am almost sold on a wok, to be honest. So I looked at it in person um, because I've never seen a wok in person. And I did, I looked at them in person and yeah, so they are like, they are a bit smaller than this. So the blue that they had was a caviar and then the fuchsia pink with the pearl um, extender chain, that was a lambskin so i had a look and like when i think about it like the lambskin and things like that feel very similar actually feel quite similar to this i do feel like this is a little bit more durable um in terms of like it feels a bit more stiff so like the material feels a bit more stiff so i feel like this might be more durable and this is calf skin um so i'm just like i guess doing like a bit of a review when i think about the difference and this is what was going through my head at the time um, I didn't manage to get any videos, um, like, it's a little bit embarrassing, like, videoing yourself in front of a essay, so I didn't get any videos of me wearing the wok, um, but I must say, the wok sits If I was beautiful. to get a wok, I would get a base shaper, so what I might do is I might, at least I know that it's something that I probably would like, um, it's not like a wok. I won't be able to fit everything in there like this. Really nice pink tweed um, bag. And there was also a pink tweed clutch. Super cute. So, yeah, I got to do some. <laughs> I videoed a little bit in store. They had heaps of shoes in stock as well. Um, I didn't go into the perfume section. So, or the, yeah, or the beauty section. So, I didn't have a look at any of that. But, 
yeah it was so nice and then I went to Louis Vuitton and I did have a look at the sandals <laughs> that I was talking about um they kind of looked like grandpa sandals to be honest like I, I just don't like they they look so simpler sim, um similar to the dad sandal that Chanel brought out and I'm not really done for that um, I need something that kind of makes my feet look a little bit more petite, petite because I do have broad feet anyway so that was no um i found this pair of sunglasses and oh my god the sunglasses are just like divine they are so beautiful they've got all these beautiful gold studs around and i was like obsessed with them almost bought them but I knew I was going in there for one like for um one of three things but those stud <laughs> glasses uh, honestly they were I asked my sales associate when they were launched and they were launched in May last year so I'm like now contemplating whether whether to actually get them because they're the last one in a store in the whole of Australia and I'm like oh god okay I don't know um you may be able to still buy them online but there's like none in any stores in australia at the moment and who knows when they'll be back in and they just the lens so was like this really nice brownie champagne color and they just oh my god they were so nice on i almost bought them like i was there for a good 10 minutes kind of deciding she probably got annoyed with me no she's uh what did else did lv they didn't have the key holder uh, the card holder that i was looking for but I did spy, I did see that an Empront leather key holder and it is just so beautiful and cute. And yeah, I'm like, okay, okay. She was bringing out all the goods. Um, but yeah, I did get something from Chanel and I did get something from Louis Vuitton as well. So, um... I might, I'm going to do another video um, on an unboxing because this is like my first Chanel piece. So I feel like I need to do a video just for that. Um, and then the piece that I got from Louis Vuitton, it's very similar to something I already have in my collection. And so what I want to do is do an unboxing and then do a review on the two and a comparison and talk a little bit about that so yeah um but if i mean if there's something that you like so let me know i may go back to chanel and buy a bag i'm not but sure. overall i had so much fun it was so nice to just go and browse spend a bit of time browsing in louis vuitton because claire was with another so yeah, client that was it thank you guys for watching if there's anything that you would like to see more of in terms of like the things that I videoed let me know I'm happy to like when I go next in store to like video things more so you can kind of see it but I did I videoed like some Elmer BBs they're like limited edition they're pastel <laughs> sure got it on video but there was the cutest little Neo Noe um no it was a <laughs> It was like the mini version of the Nia Noe. It was like, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it. But it was so cute and was in the pastels. I think that's the Stardust range. So cute. Um, so there was like so many pretty things. But yeah. I'm so happy I got something from Louis Vuitton and Chanel. And yeah, I'll do an unboxing to show you guys <laughs> what I got. But the Chanel I am going to do a separate video for. <laughs> Okay, bye guys. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights.
I've been shining in the sunlight I've been thinking how I'm on There's a reason for my feelings There's a reason why I'm healing Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep